Hey guys, for a long time I've been wanting to bring you a series of tutorials on Photoshop and Lightroom. And we're really fortunate to have Jackie, who has a lot of experience with both. She's part of our studio now. She's going to take you through a series of tutorials starting off with the basics. We want to arm you with these because we're going to start a contest in July. Lucky winner will win stuff from our sponsors like SanDisk and Bay Photo, really cool stuff. So make sure you pay attention to what she's telling you. Get out and shoot your own photos. And over to you, Jackie. OK, let's get started. Hi, guys. So this is the third series in our Lightroom tutorial. I'm going to be talking about changing color temperature and correcting your white balance. So let's get started in the Develop module. So I'll go up here and click Develop. Let's go over to the Basic panel. And here, Lightroom gives us the ability to correct and customize the color or white balance of our images. So when I open an image, um, I first like to look over here and adjust my white balance and color temperature. And then after that, I'll make all my other adjustments. And after I'm done making adjustments, if I'm unsatisfied with the color, I can always come back up here and uh, tweak it a little bit. But let's begin by taking a look how we can use the white balance tool in order to correct the color in the photographs. So all these images I'm using are from a trip I took to New York City with a few friends. So this first image, the color is off, but um, I'm really not sure what to do with it. So what I'm going to do is first look at the image and see if there's anything neutral in it that I know was neutral. So a white, a gray, a black. A light gray actually works the best. So I was there and I know that this laundry basket is a white and it has some light gray in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the basics panel and I'm going to click this white balance selector tool. Okay. And I'm going to come over here. A few things before I do this. Do you see this grid right here? It gets kind of annoying, so I'm just going to go down and click Show Loop, and it will disappear. And also, if you take a look at the Navigator panel, you can see it gives you a little preview. If you were to click the picture at this point, this is what it would look like. Since I clicked this, and this is off. Um, if this is on, it'll put the tool back every single time. So I like to leave auto dismiss off. So I can just continue to click and click and click. When I'm done and I found the color I want, I will click done or you can also put it back by clicking where it came from. Okay, so let me find the spot I like the best. Okay, and you can hit the backslash key and it will give you your before, you see here, and my after. You can see it just took like a layer of blue off of the image and I really like that. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go to the next image. Okay, so in this image, I was in the subway and the light was very yellow, as you can see. So I'm going to use the white balance selector tool again. Okay. In this one, I'm going to show you what black does. Um, black is kind of tricky. You have to find a true black. As you can see up in my navigator panel, all these, I'm choosing pretty dark sections of the image, but they're varying pretty greatly in the navigator panel. Okay, so I'm going to find one that looks nice. Maybe a little green. Too much green. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, I like that. So let me show you what the before looked like by hitting the backslash key. There you go. And that's the new image. Okay, let's go to the next one. And here I'm going to do the same thing. This is my friend Elise, and it's at night, and the color's kind of funky, but I know she was wearing a light gray scarf, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, 
Okay, and that's nice, but I don't know, there's a little too much green. I don't like the color on her face. So what you can do after you've selected and got it somewhat in the ballpark of what you want, you can go over here to the basic panel and start adjusting your temp and tint sliders. And this is under the custom. So I'm going to subtract a little green. There we go. And that looks nice and it's a little dark so I'm just going to go and do a little adjustment so it looks better. Awesome. Okay, so let's move on to the next image. And this is an image of Elise again and um, we were outside and it was kind of cloudy shady so I'm going to put this white balance selector away and I'm going to go over to the white balance custom menu and here you can see you have a lot of choices for white balance um, but I am going to choose the cloudy and there you can see it just warmed it up a little. Um, it's a little too warm, so I'm going to adjust just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So this next image is of a magazine store front window. And I like the image, I like the color, um, but I just wanna see if there's anything better. So what you can start doing, what I like to do is have, if I have an image, just go through and look. And just see if one really stands out. I was going to say auto, but I kind of like the cloudy. Yeah. Okay. So from there, you can see it added a little, it looks like magenta, just kind of warmed it up just a little bit. Um, and I'm really happy with that, so I'm just going to leave that and go to the next image. Okay, so this was taken at night, obviously, um, but what really drew me to the picture was the colors of the light, but this image isn't showing what I saw. So I'm going to try to use white balance and um, make it as realistic as possible. So let's go over to the white balance custom menu and I'm just going to scroll through these so you can see what each one does. Auto, daylight warms it up, cloudy even more, and shade even more. And then tungsten is going to cool it down. fluorescent and flash. So I kind of like, let's see, auto and tungsten. Well, they're about the same. But as you can see, that is a whole lot better. The colors are just more crisp, um, cooler. It just looks exactly like what I saw. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we can use our white balance controls creatively. So this image of Elise I took um, inside an elevator and it was made of some bright green acrylic walls. So you can see she has this green tint on her face. So even though this image is so overwhelmingly green, I like how it's highlighting her face and uh, I think I could get kind of creative with the white balance to make a more subtle look. So first I'm going to start adding the blue and removing yellow. Okay, and then I'm going to start taking away some green. A little too much. And you can also click 
this and change the numbers um, if you want to make small adjustments. Like that. So I really like how that came out. It looks completely different from the beginning. But we got kind of creative with the white balance and created something new, completely new. So that's awesome. OK, so let's move on to the next image. OK, so this next image is of me. And I think I'm in a like underground construction zone. And it's nighttime. So I really dislike the whole color of this image. It's too warm. And uh, I feel like it needs a complete change. So I definitely want to exaggerate with cooler tones since it was underground. And uh, I think bringing out some green would also complement this image. So I'm just going to go over to my temp and adjust. Remember, this is exaggerated. so. And when you bring the green down, it kind of tones down the blue as well. So let's do, that's nice. So it's a little bit more creative than the last couple. Let's look, see the difference. So you can mess around with different um, different images and different white balance situations. Don't be scared. Um, sometimes getting crazy can actually turn out pretty cool. OK, but don't overdo it. I wouldn't on all of your images. Um, OK, so this next one, we're going to try to get creative with this as well. Um, it's of a storefront window. And let's start messing around with the sliders. I kind of want to warm it up a little. Yeah. And give it some green tones, maybe. Um, so it looks more, I guess, vintage or like it was shot with color film. Um, that's pretty awesome looking. OK, so let's uh, preview what the previous image looked like. There you can see it changed the total emotion of the image. Um, this was just crisp and cold, and this is warm and it's inviting. So now that I've gone over white balance, it's fairly easy. Um, just mess around with them in all sorts of images and lighting situations, and um, they're actually pretty fun. So. This concludes our episode over white balance and color. Thank you. Hey guys, be sure to subscribe to our video so you can see all the new ones coming out. And also like. And share them with your friends, OK? Make sure you share them with your friends. And also, we'd like to see your comments on what other topics you would like for us to produce. Tell us what you want, and we'll produce it for you. OK, stay tuned.